rotate it, but it is a sideways shot. So anyway, hang on, maybe it wants me to rotate it like this. Okay, we're just going to leave it. Tell me to rotate it, but we're going to leave it like that. We're going to do a quick unboxing. Uh, shipment finally made it in, and no, it's not Shimano's. But before we get into the unboxing, see that reel right there? Still undecided. I've tried to contact a uh, seller that I got it from. And they uh, basically wanted me to just send it back. I told them, if you guys don't know, if you're just new to what's going on with the lingo, boxing with it and the Black Knight at the same time. But they, uh, it's got the 0.5 gram heavier spool than it's supposed to have. It, you can see it. So anyway, that's still up in the air. What's going on with that thing? Anyway, I put on the deal, you know, should you buy, you know, some people would argue, should you buy, uh, you know, AliExpress or Chinese domestic market reels in the first place? Then I'm asking, should you buy used ones? Well, let's find out that answer because I won't give his last name just in case he did me dirty. But uh, I did buy some used Reels, I bought, whoa, shaking you guys up trying to cut this box, hang on, oh my gosh, package pretty good anyway, huh, so far, so look what we got, can you guys make out what they are, we have used Reels basically from AliExpress. I don't know. I guess the Zephyr could have came from Amazon originally. I have no clue for sure where he got it at. And I never even asked him. Uh, you guys will be finding out the same time I do if the Zephyr's the one with the clicker. I have. Of course, if it isn't, I'm not going to put a clicker in it because also the Zephyr is a uh, left handed reel. So here, let me get the big stuff out of the way. So here we got to look at another Zephyr. That's all we needed. Another Black Knight 2. Nope. Hold, hold your horses. And a Purple Spirit Fox. And no. Okay. So you guys get the enjoyment of watching three used reels get unboxed. All right. Get that out of the way. Let the maid take care of it. Here we go. And evidently, when the Black Knight reels get shipped, they get jacked up because that's probably came that way in his too. It must come from a rough part of China. Anyway, we're just going to start with this one because I've already owned one of these reels and I own a Cast King, but we'll get to that later. I don't even know what that is. Mine didn't come with that. Lure Sport must have been where he originally got that, possibly. Ooh, left the line on. Look at that. Now, if you guys know anything about the original Black Knight, and that's why I got the old, the, uh, let me grab it right here. That's why I left this one up here so we could look at them real quick. I know it's an unboxing, but it's also a comparison, and it's all kinds of things. Because I don't know if anybody's given you guys this shot right here yet, the old and the new Black Knight and, and what the differences are. And hopefully, I'm bad about holding them at the right angles on camera, but hopefully you can see that the original, that's the original Black Knight. Uh, Black Knight 2 is a lot smaller reel. Like, nothing's going to interchange. As far as I know, nothing's going to interchange. Hopefully, you can make out that palming side plate is, like, way, way smaller. A lot smaller reel. I guess let me show you real quick. Hang on. Buckle up and hang on. I can't find my... There you are. Just so you'll know and I'll know, sometimes looking at them is harder to tell. But I'll try to show you. So here's the Black Knight 2. Just to put that on there. So we go across 39.2. And here's the original Black Knight, in case you guys have that one. See 
how it's hitting. I have to go 39.2. I got to go way up to 44, roughly 44. And that's plastic. It's a cheap one off, actually off AliExpress. Anyway, so it is a lot bigger everything. It's wider. It's a whole different reel. So basically they took what they learned with this one and they, you know, they evolved into this reel. What's cool is they look just the same, like just glancing at them. And that's what took me a while. Like I had to study this reel. They showed them side by side on AliExpress too. And like, is that thing smaller? It looks smaller, but it is way smaller, lighter, everything, different, everything that looks, they managed to get it looking almost the same and not be anywhere near the same reel, which is kind of cool. And actually, I think in my mind, it's kind of hard to do. But anyway, I had this reel. I was unhappy with it. I like this one in case you guys missed the, the test I did yesterday with the magnets and all that. And I threw heavier baits. I have no issues with this reel as of yet. But I told everybody before I can call it 100% have to go fish it first before i can say yeah go buy this it's way better than because in my mind the pw100 was like top dog for me of the ones i tried the line don't you know doesn't get in and stuff like that but and the tolerances on my reel i don't see how i guess maybe two or four pound test could get caught i don't know but i run i run braid and i run the smallest braid i run is 10 just for the fact that eight and six and all that small lines is impossible for me to see so i run 10 pound braid with a 10 6 or 8 pound leader i hardly ever go smaller than that i'm not out looking to set records on the lightest line possible i'm you know i'm using these to cast baits that normally would take spinning gear to cast easily and i'm doing it with this with bfs that's what i do so anyway i got this from and i'm kind of been looking at it while i talking to you guys not really saying anything but this thing looks like new i don't even know if you hardly ever fished it it definitely i don't see like i don't see one scratch i don't see any design flaws from the factory it should have a clicker yeah see yes let's compare that real quick let me get the clicker get a little line out here you guys hear that clicker the original one hang on i gotta find a line Remember what I said, I'm doing this so much, I always make sure to try to keep the line from getting crossed up. Okay, let me get a little line out. Whoa, it's digging in. Oh, and I did it, I crossed the freaking line. Oh my God. You do not want to do this by mistake. And I did. Hang on, we're gonna to get to those other reels, I'm telling you. I, I do quick videos, I'm telling you guys. You guys just are never around when they are a quick video. How did I do that? Where's the line coming out the other side? All right. There we got it. Okay, you hear that one? Let me loosen this drag. This drag's tighter. Whoa, I'm going to yank everything off the table. All right. Anyway, so the clickers, to me, sound... one more time here well i'm gonna have a line so tangled up i think if anything this is a little louder probably just because this i don't know it just this one sounds a tick louder okay let's put this back up before we jack stuff up so we've got the black knight two and a black knight now so if you guys have any questions that maybe you have this one and you want to know you know, if you feel this one lags in some way, and in my mind, this one, the main thing, it was loud, like casting. You won't be able to tell now with the, because I got the line clanking around, but, and this doesn't sound like it's got loud spool bearings. Let me take this thing off and look. Yeah, it's still got the same kind of bearings mine had when I bought it, but the original Black Knight, man, mine was loud. Oh, and it did not cast that great. It was it cast good, but it was not. Wow, that thing's. That thing's smooth. Let me check. I said this one wasn't near as smooth. No, that's yeah. The, wow, they got smoother. This, if you guys watch the unboxing, this reel had like kind of like my Aldebaran. It just 
something felt not right. But now, I don't know if you could, you could have to go back and look at that video. Like when I was doing this, it just didn't seem to spin like that. And everything was loose and it actually should be spinning less now because I got line clacking around. But this reel got loose real quick as far as feeling nice and smooth. But I have to admit, this thing feels just as good. Actually, this feels better because there's just more weight. But, yeah. So here's the plan. I got purple rods coming. My main thing this winter is to track down rods. I've got reels kind of figured out what I'm going to do. But I'm going to try to figure out my rod situation. So I'm starting off with the ultralight and light coming from AliExpress. Then I'm going to go to probably the regular, you know, true like bass BFS stuff going away from the trout and the panfish and the creeks and stream stuff. And I'm going to get some of that. But I have a one I spotted. The one I'm hoping is the rod I like. And guess what's going to match up perfectly on it if it is? These reels right here. If not, uh-oh. But anyway, but in the meantime... I have so much, like you guys know, you guys, if you're a hipster, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't like guys that cast with the right hand and switch and then reel with the right hand. So I had to get this one too, because, let's check, I guarantee this don't have a clicker. No, it doesn't. Oh my God. That's not good. I ain't putting one on it though. I'm just going to fish it. Now, those of you... This one looks like he's had it a while and, and fished it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that because he gave me a deal on them. The other one looks brand new. Like, I don't think he hardly ever fished that. It looks brand new. This one definitely got some dirt on it. Knob's got a little, like somebody's been handling it a little bit. But actually what got better, see how free those are now? Mine was horrible. And let me show you that real quick. So we're kind of doing a comparison on everything. And I'm trying to bring more rods but now i don't know if charles did that because i got this one used also i traded charles for my other cast king but charles not that hard on stuff and my knobs being new but then i noticed one of the issues with one of the knobs was this the uh rivet or whatever you want to call that was actually wallered out a little bit and loose now that should not happen now that has to have gotten i don't know the reel don't look like it was dropped but it takes a lot to get one of these to actually pop free you got the uh what where'd you get javier again i'm opening them right now i got another one of these another one of those which is that and then this one's all by itself what's that that's what i'm getting ready to open boy don't jump ahead of us for folks at home but anyway, these feel good. Still same thing. I'm sure they just uh, are a bushing. No way to change them out unless you change the whole handle. So the plan is, I have no idea what rod I'm going to put this on, but I'm going to rig this up. Thank you for leaving line on. I'll probably just leave that line on too. And then, uh, you know, get out, cast, and then reel like this. I did it once before. Back in the day, the Skeet Reese Revo. The, remember the yellow and black one? That'll tell you how long. It just came out. I bought it. Uh Partially because, not really because I had a perfect deal on it, but I uh, had hurt my hand. So I wanted to be able to set the hook and yank. My left arm, actually, I hurt, and I had like tendonitis or something, tetanitis, whatever you call that. In my left arm, I didn't want to, like, it actually hurt to set the hook and yank and, you know, going out fishing. So my idea was, I'll, you know, it'd be easier just to reel with that hand, and I can do all, you know, arm, and I can do everything with my right I hated that thing. I felt like I missed so many fish by trying to set the hook with my right uh, arm. It was not good right-handed. So anyway, I'm going to give it another shot. So we got that one. Now, let's get rid of some of these boxes. With no clicker. Now this other one, I don't have a clicker either, I'm pretty sure. Last one, then we're on. We're out of here. Little bag that are actually pretty cool, but I just don't use them. Oh, look, they've spared no expense. They sent a little tag thing. It's or the, or stretchy. It should be stretchy. Should be stretchy. Yep. Okay. Schematics are in there. Look at that thing. It is not going to match up very great, but it will match up enough. This, I kind of got this for a couple reasons. Whoa, what is a clickety clacks? Oh. 
One, because I think it is pretty much a PW100. Just, uh, you know, you have Fish Band with PW100, and then you have uh, Sonora with this version. The, th the thing that actually caught me about these reels I do not like is actually the point. They should have done it a little differently. I kind of like, I don't know, they should have, I know they probably did it to save weight, but they should have brought that out and made it closer, closer match. That's just my opinion. You guys comment what you think. I don't like these knobs. I don't like, they remind me of the old lose. Remember the lose knobs? Everybody, oh, they feel so good. Yeah, but they look ridiculous. I don't like them. I can already tell you, I don't like those. They actually feel a little slick to me. It's too much. It's too much of that color blue. That's all you need, just a little bit. And I was going to try to match it up. Some of you guys will know, because I don't know if I've ever seen anybody take a $80 reel and put it on a $500 rod other than me. But let's just stick it on this rod and see what it looks like on there. That blue is totally different. That won't work. No, it can't cast. It won't cast right if the blues don't match up. I'm telling you, it's like, it's just facts. You see the NRX blue? Nowhere near the same color. I mean, it would work. Yeah, it looks probably better than this. But still. I just wanted to get one and try it out and see what I thought. The purple one looks pretty nice. Plus, it just gave me another reel to check and test and whatever. No clicker, of course. These are probably going to end up, I ain't going to lie, these are probably going to end up being the kids' uh, this one here. But who knows? I may end up liking it. It is right handed, so I know that part I already like. This one, if I don't like it, will more likely end up being one of the kids'. They, they don't seem to care. They just go down and cast, have fun. They'll reel either which way. They'll, they'll hold the spinning uh, rod upside down on a pole and be sitting there reeling all weird. They're just kids. But anyway, this one, this one feels smooth. And it definitely looks like, this one looks fairly like, I think this is the one he used and abused as far as it's got it's the oldest looking one to me i mean it still looks good it's just dirty it looks dirty i don't see any like gouges or he looks like he takes care of his stuff it just is like mine you know once it's been out and being used you can tell when one's been on the water been used and then when one's not like this i don't think either one of these have really been used so anyway if anybody's got any questions on these let me know Mainly on the these two, if you have any questions about the differences, they look, they made these things look so much alike for being totally different reels now, really. Like there's nothing, this, oh, this does have, hang on a second. Hang on a second, time out, hold everything, can you I don't even know. Hang on. Oh my God. I'm trying to get my phone to go where I can see what I'm showing you guys. Okay, right there. The original Black Knight does have it's like they started to widen it. They started to go, let's make it like the Aldebaran, and they went, nope, better just make it a little. It's like a little, it, it's coned ever so slightly. And I'm pretty sure there's no way these two things would interchange. Let me look. That's actually a possibility. Because once you get up in here, a lot of that stuff doesn't matter how big the reel is. If the dimensions are right, like how far away they put a couple things, I ain't going to lie. It's basically how far, you know, where your actual worm gear and then the idler thing that or i don't know i call i started to call it idler shaft i have no idea what it's called but looking at these two reels i would swear just by the glance as long as they didn't do something crazy which i think almost all of them are universally the same size around that plastic housing that holds them some are aluminum fancy reels most of them are, a lot of them are plastic because that's all they have to be they don't you don't really benefit anything by being aluminum there but i think 
I would almost, I would almost swear, and I could, I could possibly dismantle this one, maybe this winter, or just try to order that part. I would swear that line guide will fit right in an old Black Knight. Because you have the height, how far it comes up would be the only issue. But there's a gap there, like there's plenty of room on this one. So I think, you know, it may put it close. But just judging by how they're made, I don't know. It'd definitely be worth trying. I may try to do that order one because will it really help it cast anymore? I don't know. And looking at it, wow. I'd almost swear. I got to measure that. Hang on. And then we're gone. I swear. We're gone. One more thing, just so you guys will know, like with the, if you want to know, like, well, how can you justify buying the new one if you already have the old one and you're happy with it or whatever, or you're not happy or whatever. So you can see, you know, don't go by the numbers, just go by roughly where they end at. I would call this one somewhere close to 50 would be halfway, or I mean be halfway in the spool. And this one, the spool sets lower, but I'd almost, let me see where it starts at the spool. I don't know if you guys can make out what I'm making out. Sit right there. Yeah, I don't know if it's an optical illusion. I guess because this is a smaller diameter spool, it looks like they've managed to have that line guide further out on this reel probably because it's probably the same distance to the center but since this is a smaller one it's it it looks like it's further out if that makes sense because there it is further away from the edge of the spool and i think that's what i'm looking at but yeah this one if you could get that i don't know what it would cost but it would be worth the upgrade plus it just looks cooler even if it doesn't make it cast any better it definitely it has that kind of the same colors as this are on that uh, line guide, which is definitely just a, it's a cooler line guide and it, it could only help it in its casting. And I think it'd bolt right on. Now this has the Chiram or whatever, and this says High Star. I'd say it's same exact knobs. I don't know if these, I don't know if these had bearings or not. They kind of twirl like there's bearings, but I can't really make it out for sure. Now they look kind of white. I think they may just be bushings also, which is fine. That's another thing we noticed. And somebody said they're supposed to have them. I haven't looked in that yet. Oh, let me spin it. Can you guys tell these? I put bearings in. Now they're cheap bearings that come like off the handles from AliExpress. And one of them has bushings. Now, when I first put them in, I could tell which one was which. Yeah, you can tell barely. That one doesn't spin as much as this one, but this one, it needs a spacer in there. But I was checking last night, like when you go to reel, you cannot feel a difference. You can't tell bearings or not. The bushings, it's not a tight in any which way. So that's one of those upgrades. It's purely just so you know that it does have bearings and not bushings. But as far as out on the water using it and casting, you know, reeling and all that, you're not gonna you're not gonna notice that. Your main bearings are gonna be, which I don't even know where they exactly they're at on this, but and I found out in the PW100 would probably have lasted longer if it had an outer bearing on the, you know, outside of where your roller bearing goes, but it, do, it doesn't. And I think they left a lot of bearings out of the PW100 just to, uh, to, so they could get that under five gram, you know, way back in the day deal. So it also has one bearing here, the PW100, because I had it all the way apart, that your main idler, your main little gear goes on, but the inside that's just a bushing and it's actually made on where you can't even put a bearing without changing i don't know i'd have to show you guys that but I, that was kind of disappointing because i was able to take the pw100 apart it had a bushing here 
on the warm gear, I managed to put a bearing. I had one laying around, but there's no way to like put a bearing over here. I was going to put two and just the way it's designed. Some of your reels, your higher end reels are designed. They'll put bushings all the way around and you can change out eventually the bearings, but some reels are just designed in the design of them. Instead of a bushing, it's a plastic like spacer or something in the design to where you can't really do it. Not right anyway, if that order like a bunch of extra parts, you can't just tear it apart, pull out the little white bushings and throw in bearings. There's other stuff involved. So anyway, that's it. Hope you guys like that. Stay tuned. I've got a bunch of reels now to play with, test. I don't even remember the what the all the specs are on this thing as far as what the spool is supposed to weigh. I think it's light. I think it's it's about like what the uh, the purple PW is. So it should be very close. Should be almost the same reel. Just looks a little different. And I made I'm actually just try to prove that and change it and do all this and that and whatever kind of stuff. Just so I'll know, we'll know, or whatever. And I'm out of here. But one last thing, you guys are probably wondering, like you bought the most expensive uh, reel you've bought lately. You haven't even talked about that much, and that's this guy. Because I'll be honest, the performance is there. There's something I'm still trying to get used to, that little that spool. But it works good. It's just the whole gap thing. And I was wondering if it wasn't designed maybe to be used with braid. You know, if you guys seen the new alphas out, the, uh, I don't know, gecko pigeon, what do they call that thing? Anyway, whatever that reel is called, queen of the night. And it kind of narrowed up the spool partially for braid. I'm wondering if that this reel wasn't actually intended for that reason, or they just did that to so you could, you know, hold less line since you're going to be in light line. Anyway. I thought I really liked the looks of this reel. I'll be honest, I don't. It's too dark a gray. Once I start comparing it with my other reels that, you know, the Aldebaran, even the PW100 and stuff, that gray is so dark with that red. And part of it is, if you guys remember right, and this exact rod last year and uh, part of the year before that, I had the Metanium with all the red stuff, KTF spool, and it just looked so much better than this thing does. And it actually, it does retrieve like way better than this reel. It couldn't outcast this reel. I could, it, it did struggle in casting. The KTF spool just was not quite there as what some of these little lightweight spools are. But that reel had the smoothest retrieve and looked awesome with all the red and that bright silver. So I think I'm going to paint this reel. Now I may not paint it. I haven't decided yet, but I think I'm going to do over this winter. I'm going to tear this reel down because I like it. Feels good. It palms good, it, you know. I think I'm going to tear it all the way down, and then I'm going to see if my RC guy that paints our RC car bodies would want to get involved in this. Because if you guys haven't seen an RC car body paint job, let me just show you one. Uh, where's one at? Hold still. I know my videos are never quick, and never short. Let me just show you one. Now they're painted from the inside out. Now I ain't gonna have nothing real fancy put on. I think I'm just thinking about having the silver like the other car was, but there is a remote control car body painted. If you guys can make out with an airbrush what details some guys can get into that are painting these. Now that thing, of course it's big, but it, it's kind of small on a scale, but you know, it's nowhere near as small as a reel. But I wanna say anywhere from 45 to $75, you can get an RC car body painted. They paint it from the inside out, it's Lexan, so it'll last a long time. It takes a beating. If you paint it on the outside, it would be destroyed in a matter of like a few races, one race night for sure. But anyway, you can go into, you know, he's capable of doing that. So I'm gonna see if he wants to get involved in this. I'll basically have it tore down, I'll hand him, you know, the frame and both side plates i'll have everything else off i possibly would see if he could paint the star drive but those that that would start you know anytime these are painted that also looks kind of cheesy anyway so i'd probably try to track down a red one like a daiwa style so that's what i'm thinking i'm going to do and if he says you don't want to mess with it you know i'll just paint it myself i'm not that great at it but I'll just, if I paint it, it definitely is just going to be one solid color silver. But I'd, you know, take him the little small parts and ask him what he thinks he could do with it and get it custom painted. Because it does work good. 
being aluminum, it should last. And as long as I can get parts, I plan on if something happens with it, fixing it. You know, if, let's say the anti or the roller bearing and I reverse jacks up on it. I plan on, you know, tracking that down. So anyway, that's what's coming up on a lot of different stuff. I have reels. All re uh, I don't really plan on buying any more at the moment. Oh, before I go. Uh, I know BFS Fishing is where I'm going to list them first, but I'm definitely going to be selling uh, my Aldebaran reels. Now I'm going to sell the MGL 30 and the 50 first. After those sell, I'm going to sell my, uh, this guy, but I'm not selling him first and then being stuck with the other. I'm going to just start selling off the, uh, Aldebarans and this is going to be the last one to go. And the only reason I'm mentioning I'm selling this one because if somebody out there wants to buy and I'm going to list it that way, wants to buy all three, I will make a package deal for all. Three. So you're going to get basically the BFS XG and, and then they go down, they go down and uh, I guess they go up in line capacity and, but they go down in the gearing. So this is the XG Aldebaran. I've got the MGL 30, which is kind of a blue tint, but it's in the HG. Then I've got the original 50 just in the standard. It doesn't say anything on the side, which that makes this like the whatever to one, the MGL 30 would be the seven to one and then six to one on the original 50. And they all cast, and I was even casting, you know, baits with this. Lightweight baits, they all cast fairly well. Of course, the smaller bait you go, the better this one works. And the bigger bait you go, the more the others work. So, and that's why I kind of used them. I had the 30, like an in-between. It was anything that I felt I needed, especially if I wanted thicker line than 10-pound test, like leader material. I went away from BFS stuff. But I'll be honest, what I'm going to do this year, this winter, I'm getting rid of those. I'm going to probably eventually have almost all reels that were originally intended for BFS. That's kind of why I got this guy. This one is going to be, and I'm going to have to double check the spool, but I'm pretty sure this thing has a freaking thick spool. And we may test it to see how, yeah, I don't know if, yeah, you guys won't be able to see in there. It's got the line on it, but this diameter or, you know, the diameter, the thickness of the walls are just way thick compared to what's out there. Like, I'm not afraid to squeeze that thing. Some of these other spools that are coming out now, I'd be afraid to squeeze them because it feels like they just, I could collapse them. They're like aluminum can. Where these, these are still built hefty. The original Black Knight, I think I could get away. Now, I, I run a slightly loose drags, but I honestly feel I could run 15-pound test braid with a 15 pound leader and fish this you know set my drag on like you guys haven't seen i do it on the, like bumper of my car or on the boat or whatever and set it to where i feel it's gonna give you know i you definitely don't want to try fishing 15 pound braid and or 15 pound anything and have a you know, locked up or tightened as tight as you can get drag, you will possibly, you could deform this one. I don't know. But anyway, that's probably what I'm going to do. And thanks to Jim, I got a deal. I'm cheap enough into this reel. And they do still sell these, I think, for like 55, 60 bucks. And honestly, I don't know. I may end up, if I like them on this other rod I got coming, that's the plan. And they're, they're I got a light coming. If I like it, I'm going to get the medium light, the medium and then a medium heavy, I'm going to buy the whole lineup, just like I did with the uh, Conquerors. And if that's the case, I'll probably pick up, because these were originally, and they do cast pretty light baits for BFS. So I'm going to test this one kind of first off and just see how I think. And then if that's the case, I'm going to pick up probably a couple more. I'm, you know, the plan is, and I'm going to have other rod and reels, but I want like a full lineup with probably these on those rods, and that'll be like my main thing i use and then i'll be testing it as i get other stuff and go to whatever and then if i go you know this will be i'll have i'll probably have a couple of these i'll have one on the volan like i said i'll have one on my light possibly a medium light i have to see what i think this one can handle and how much line you know any of the rods that i'll hold 10 pound or less i plan on running with this and any of them that i might be putting 15 pound on is with that that's the plan
you know plans change. All right, guys, I'm out of here. But yeah, keep in mind, be looking out when I start selling these because when these go, they're going to go. And I am not listing or saying anything now about prices, but I'm going to get rid of the 50, the MGL 30, and this one. And so be looking forward to that. This one's in overall good shape. I'll tell you more about the other ones. The, I dropped the 30. It's got some scuffs right here. The 50 already had a little rub here when I got it, but they all still, everything works fine. This one I've talked about since I've had it. When I first got it, I don't know if you can hear that. That noise has been there since I've got this reel. I don't know what it is. A guy commented a while back, I can't remember your name, whoever you are, but that supposedly on some of the forums they talked about back in the day, Shimano had a bad batch of bearings and they had like a noise, which I mean, it's worked fine. It's going to work fine. I just re -lubed this one. It's never been an issue, not going to be an issue, but that noise right there. That spool noise. And I think it's probably in the spool spool bearings. They're probably just noisy bearings. They just work, though. You know, this one, you guys seen it in the shootouts. It it ain't no punk. But anyway, I got to get out of here. i am uh, got things to do. I just want to get you guys updated on the, the... They finally showed up. Two-day shipping shipped out Saturday. They're, this is Thursday. They made it. They charged poor Jim almost 20 bucks to ship three reels that took forever. I think he's in Tennessee. It's not that far away. I could have drove straight there and got them and been back the next day. That's where my old uh, truck came from. Me and my dad drove down, got it, and we're back the next... Uh, I think we were back that night. We left that morning. No, we spent the night. That's right. We went down. Yeah, I think. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm getting old. I got comments, but they're all turned sideways. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. Uh, 37 minutes. I guess I'll try to read a comment or two. And I know, are you still interested? In, yes, Eugene Johnson. I sent you my phone number somewhere. How many do you have, first of all? Eugene's trying to sell me some uh, 661 kind of tetons. He says he's got some. I don't know how many. But... I know you guys won't be able to get any, but I might buy more one-piece ones for myself. But I'm 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 probably just going to get a two-piece. That way, you guys, it's something you guys will be able to that's available. Heck, I even double-checked uh, today. I made sure they still sell the Bass Baby that I fish with, in case somebody asks. And they do, but man, that thing's a thousand dollars. I didn't realize it was a thousand dollars. I caught it on sale back when I bought it four or five years ago. I think I think I either gave six ninety nine or seven ninety nine. It came with the trolling motor. It was a handheld, and I traded it to my son for back to get my foot pedaled on back. But yeah, there. If if I was buying one, honestly, you don't need one as wide as mine, and my, it's only eight foot long, and it fishes two people no problem. But it's a one man fishing machine. You can stand up, do whatever. So I spotted the little one that like Cabela's. The Bass Pro, they carry the same one, but like I think for four ninety nine, those I mean any of those little two man bass boats, instead of getting a kayak, in my mind, you get that, and then just know that you're going to be the one using it. Get you one of those little, because as much as these freaking kayaks are, you could buy that high dollar. I think it's like a five hundred dollar battery, but it's real light and real powerful. Get a higher powered trolling motor, and the little two man boat will fly around. By the time you add the weight. Get the smallest two-man boat you can find. It ain't going to outrun the kayak, but when you get to where you're going, you're going to be standing up, have every piece of tackle you want there with you, and in my mind, it's just the way to go. But yeah, Eugene, check back in that post you asked me about, and I left you my number. Tell me how many you got. Message me pics of them or whatever, and tell me what you want for them. Or I'll make an offer if I see pics of them. So how many you got? Anyway, we're wheeling and dealing. You guys want to buy this? It's for sale already. This one's already for sale. After I use them. Everything I got, fishing-wise, could be sold. I'm like my dad with cars. I may be driving it back and forth to work, but it's for sale. Uh, I may be heading to the fishing. You know, I may go, go fishing like with Charles. I show up with the Dragon. Next thing you know, I'm coming back with the... Cast King Zephyr combo. I didn't had no intentions on getting rid of trading, selling, or nothing. We just, oh yeah, I'd rather have it. I'd rather have it. And we traded. All right, guys, get out of here. Go left-handed. 
reels. Man, this is going to be awkward. I may go out there just tonight and just to even try it, just to cast and reel. That's going to feel weird to put it on the rod. All right, I'm out here for real. Thanks for watching, guys.